verbs in English. A regular verb has its base form doesn't change when we use it in past tense or past participle. On the other hand, a verb that changes its base form is called irregular verb. Most of English verbs are regular verbs. They have four different basic forms. Base form, the normal verb we find in dictionary. Verb S form, the form we use when the verb goes with third singular person or thing in present tense. Verb form, when the verb used in past tense. Verbing form, the form when we use in continuous form. Even regular verbs don't change their forms, but there are some rules we must understand and learn to memorize how to use it. Dropping silent E in the end of the verb. Live, living arrive, arriving bait, making close, closing, blue, blowing dance, dancing hope, hoping refuse, refusing, adding S to the verbs, for verbs that end with S, SS, SH, CH, X, Z, O affix the suffix S to the end of the verb. For example, to box, box, boxes, to catch, catch, catches, to kiss, kiss, kisses, to watch, watch, watches, to wish, wish, wishes, to do, do, does, the doubling rule. When a verb ends with a letter sequence of consonant vowel consonant, double the final consonant. If the verb is longer than one syllable, double only if the stress falls on the last syllable. The letters H, W, X, Y are never doubled, fix fixing. Example with verb bed, B equals consonant, E equals vowel, G equals consonant, stress falls on the last and only syllable slash beg slash, double. Please believe me, I am begging you. And begging is in the present continuous tense. Change Y to IES, for verbs spelled with a final Y preceded by a consonant, change the Y to an I and then affix the S suffix. For example, to apply, apply, applies, to copy, copy, copies, to identify, identify, identifies, to reply, reply, replies, to try, try, tries. Summary Base S form past past participle ing form. Call calls called called calling. Clean cleans cleaned cleaned cleaning. Look looks looked looked looking. Talk talks talk talk talking. End ends ended ended ending. Wait waits waited waited waiting. Kiss kisses kissed kissed kissing. Wash washes washed washed washing. Live lives live live living. Love loves love love loving. Beg begs beg begged begging. Sin 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 sinning. Play plays played played playing. Stay stay stayed stayed staying. Cry cries cried cried crying. Study study studied studied studying. Die dies died died dying. Tie ties tied tied tying. Section title equals notes. How to use regular verbs. Pronunciation differences in past slash past participle after slash p, s, k, f slash sounds. Pronunciation differences in past slash past participle after slash t, d slash sounds. Spelling and pronunciation differences in s form after slash s, s h, c h, z slash sounds. Dropping of silent E with ing endings. Doubled consonants after short vowel sounds. Spelling differences when Y is preceded by a consonant.
benefits of grammar to improve your English fluency. When you start learning English, you will learn some basic grammar right on the first lesson. This is very much necessary for you to understand the structure of English. But sometimes you would ask yourself some strange questions like, Why do I need to learn English grammar? How can I use English grammar to learn English? To answer your questions if we should or should not pay attention to grammar at all, we will discuss it here. What are benefits of grammar? You know grammar, that means, you know how to put words together in a sensible order and at the right endings. Whether or not you've ever opened a grammar book, you know how to produce combinations of sounds and letters that others can understand. After all, English was used for a thousand years before the first grammar books ever appeared. But how much do you know about grammar? And, really, what benefits you will have from learning grammar? Grammar improves your listening and speaking skills. Knowing grammar helps us to easier in communicating. For example, imagine you have a job interview, you need to talk about your past job experience. We apply the rules for present perfect tense. Because you talk about experience. When you meet a new person, you talk with them about yourself. You apply the present simple tense to talk about facts and regular habits. It is clearly that the verbal clauses and adjective clauses help us enrich our sentences and add more information. Meanwhile, grammar rules help you to make your communication to appear coherent and more logic. English speakers tend to speak very fast with a lot of short forms and silent sounds. Knowing grammar helps you to catch these short forms and silent sounds by guessing the idea what the speak want to say. Grammar improves your reading and writing skills. Knowing basic grammar is important in order to be able to analyze and improve your language performance. Understanding the use of noun, verbs, adverb, adjective, phrase or clause helps you to write English better. For example, to write a letter, you need to know the rule of sentence structure, the rule of words order like opshakam. Furthermore, writing requires a lot of mental effort. Most English learners do their writing tend to make mistake and misuse of grammar rules, which are very easy to recognize. Knowing basic grammar is an important tool for readers to understand what they are reading. It is considered to be a handle of literature. News, stories or poems have a lot of long sentence. Using grammar to define which one is subject, verb, object, phrase or adverbial clause. By analyzing the grammar of sentences and paragraphs, the readers can understand what they read better.